As Americans, we are very familiar with the 401k, and you probably even have one. But chances are you've never heard of Index Universal Life Insurance, or IUL for short. And even if you have, it's probably a mystery to you, and you probably don't know that it's a retirement savings vehicle. You know, one trend we've seen is using an IUL contract as an alternative to the 401k. But unfortunately, IULs have a bad reputation as being expensive. And it's because of bad agents and the old traditional way of structuring these policies. They were sold as a very expensive insurance policy that made agents big commissions. And it's because the death benefit or the life insurance part is what drives the fees, the commissions, and the costs higher. So in order to maximize the growth of your money and minimize the fees, commissions, and costs, we want the lowest death benefit the IRS will allow. A 401k gets its name from the tax code it's tied to. Paragraph K of Section 401 of the Tax Revenue Act of 1978, which allows for tax-deferred savings. At the time it was created, taxes were very high, so deferral made sense. These days, though, with taxes low, you are deferring all of your taxes to retirement when you need your money the most, and when taxes will likely be much higher than they are now. IUL takes advantage of IRS Tax Code 7702, which allows for many tax-free advantages. Most people become eligible for a 401k when they become employed by a company that offers one. An IUL can be obtained by anyone of any age for the most part, but not recommended for those 65 and over. A 401k is funded with money that has not been taxed while an IUL is funded with non-qualified money that has already been taxed. 401k income is taxable. With an IUL, your retirement income is tax-free. A 401k may come with an employer match. And normally, an IUL does not come with a match. However, if your annual income is $100,000 or more, a lender will match your five annual contributions three to one. And if you're interested in that program, you should absolutely watch my video on Kaizen. A 401k is at risk to stock market losses, an IUL is not. You will be penalized if you take any money out of your 401k if you're younger than 59 and a half at 10% plus income taxation. But you always have penalty-free access to your IOL cash. When you withdraw money from a 401k, you are subject to substantial tax liability. Where as long as you take a participating loan, the cash value of IULs can be accessed at any time because it's already taxed. And that money even keeps earning interest in your account even though you borrowed it. There are contribution limits with a 401k, but not with an IUL. A 401k is loaded with fees, but an IUL has limited fees as long as it is structured properly. There are RMDs with a 401k, but not with an IUL. And with an IUL, you have a death benefit, which is life insurance, which also has living benefits and I'll get into that later. So you can access the death benefit while you're alive for certain medical conditions. IULs are simpler for estate planning, while 401ks are subject to probate. And beneficiaries get a tax-free death benefit with an IUL. Most people don't know about the fees they are paying on their 401k. Tony Robbins realized that the 401k plan his company had was loaded with fees. So he took matters into his own hands. Since the 401k first came into existence in the early 1980s, it's become the retirement plan of choice for all companies, big and small. So by now you'd think with decades of compounding, those baby boomers would be financially set. But we all know that's far from the truth. Why? Because there's a hole in your investment bucket and it's draining your financial future. What is it? 
Well, Vanguard's founder, John Bogle, who's been one of the most respected investment professionals for almost 60 years, calls the problem the tyranny of compounding fees. Your fees are eating you alive. Ironically, according to a recent study by the AARP, eight out of 10 people don't know the cost of their plan, and 70% of those participants believe they're actually paying no investment costs for the 401k. The startling truth is that you couldn't be further from the truth. Well, so much of what you pay is buried in the fine print. Revenue sharing, expense ratios, wrap fees, soft dollar costs, transaction costs, account charges, redemption fees, deferred sales charges. There are more than 17 total fees that can be stacked up all in that fine print. So think about this, mutual funds really have an average expense ratio today of 1.5% or higher. Compare that to a plan that was constructed with low cost index funds that match the market. So they're 96% more effective than virtually all of the mutual funds, but the average expense is 0.14. That's 14 basis points. If you hear those numbers and it's confusing, think of it this way. If you're investing $100 in a fund like that, it costs you 14 cents. On the average fund, it's $1.50. That doesn't sound like that, but it's a 1,000% difference in fees, and those fees compound every year as you reinvest. A Forbes recent article says that the total cost on average is 3.1%, while some of these funds are as much as 4.6%. So what does it mean to you? How much of an impact do fees really have on your future? People have no sense of the reality. According to Bloomberg, if you have a, la a lifetime of investing, you can say basically goodbye to half of your investment nest egg in fees. I'll give you an example. Take two neighbors. Let's say they both are side by side, live on the same street. One is in an average fund at 3.1% that Forbes talks about, and one is in a low cost fund, the best possible, 0.414, the 14 basis points. What's the impact? Well, if they invest $5,000 a year, every year, and they get an 8% return over their investment lifetime, one ends up with $1.4 million, the other is 619,000. That's a 100% difference. And you gotta wonder, how many tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars have you lost in fees so far? As long as you have a life insurance agent who knows what they're doing and structures an IUL properly, the fees are minimal. Before I start addressing what index universal life insurance is, it's important you understand what indexing is since this is an index product. Would you rather be invested in the red line or the green line. The red line is the market strategy, or the S&P 500, your 401k, 403b, or your IRA. And the green line is the index strategy, where you make market-like returns, but you're protected from stock market downturns. So let me explain how indexing works. You choose an index like the S&P 500, for example. Your money is not invested in the index, so it's not in the stock market, but you get the return based on the movement of the index. Your money grows however the index performs, up to a limit or a cap, let's say 12%. Now, if the market grows 15%, your money will only grow up to that 12% cap. But the trade-off is complete downside protection from market losses. So just like you would have a cap, you would also have a floor of zero. So the worst thing that could happen is you get zero interest in market downturns. In other words, you lose nothing ever. So let's look at this chart again. You can see how volatile the market was between 1998 and 2013. You can see where I circled in blue that when the market goes down, you get zero growth because of the floor. This is a comparison of market strategy and the indexing strategy. At a 12.5% cap with a $100,000 balance over the last 20 years, if you would have just gone to sleep and put your money in the S&P 500 index, you'd have $153,000 more in your account with a cap and a floor than you would just writing it out. There are three vehicles that will give you a tax-free income in retirement. A Roth IRA, municipal bonds, and permanent life insurance. In this case, an IUL. 
Because IUL takes advantage of IRS code 7702, which allows your retirement income to be tax-free, your money grows tax-free, you pay zero taxes on your IUL retirement income, no taxes on your estate and inheritance when you die, and your beneficiary pays zero taxes when they claim the death benefit. An IUL contract has no risk to stock market downturns because it's an index product with a ceiling and a floor, so zero risk. No annual contribution limits, no age restrictions, easy and penalty-free access to your money, market-like returns, your money grows tax-free, you get a tax-free retirement income, no required minimum distributions, you get a death benefit and living benefits, and limited fees only if it is structured properly. You can also access your money tax-free through policy loans. And to get more information on how policy loans work, you must watch my video up here uh, all about that. And I will put a link to that below. Now, how does it work when you're taking distributions as tax-free retirement income? When you take a participating loan, your money never leaves your policy account. It continues to earn interest. So you earn interest on the money you loan yourself. Now you're charged interest for taking that money out and for borrowing it, but the interest you're getting on that money far offsets the charge. Now the greatest difference between policy loans and traditional loans is that you don't have to pay back the loan to your insurance policy. When you borrow based on your life insurance policy's cash value, you're actually borrowing from the life insurance company and the cash value of the policy and the death benefit are used as collateral. If you don't pay back the loan, the insurance company will take it from the cash value of your policy or deduct it when the death benefit is paid out. So let's compare income from a 401k versus an IUL. Take a 65-year-old who wants a $97,000 after-tax annual income in retirement. The 65-year-old with the 401k has $858,000 in his 401k retirement savings plan. He withdraws $129,340 annually, knowing that he'll have to pay $32,335 in taxes in order to get his $97,000 annual income. This poor guy runs out of money in nine years at the age of 74. The 65-year-old with the IUL has $709,000 in retirement savings. He takes his $97,000 annual income and pays zero taxes. Keep in mind, he earns interest on the money he borrows out of his account. His $864,000 death benefit is the collateral for the loan. Because this is a life insurance policy, you actually have access to the death benefit tax-free while you're alive in the event you have a chronic, critical, or terminal illness. And it also allows the death benefit to be distributed before death to pay for long-term care. The benefits of an IUL over a 401k are undeniable. If this is of interest to you and you would like me to prepare a customized IUL illustration for you, please complete the application below. And of course, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And after you subscribe, just hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video.